spend even five minutes walking around Infocom 2018 and you'll see firsthand just how quickly buildings are becoming digital. Today I'm talking with Neil Redding about just that. You spoke at Infocom about how buildings are becoming more digital. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I think what we see is, you know, beyond screens and sort of attaching screens to services, which allows for what we call architectural media, which is really exciting and beautiful and the potential there is great. But beyond that, using sensors and location awareness on our personal devices and all kinds of other emerging technology to make it so that when we walk into spaces, they can actually dynamically respond to us in personalized ways. We're already seeing this happening in museums where based on dwell time, you know, content related to the artist whose work we're looking at can be shown or in a retail context, I can walk in and have content pushed to me based on my purchase history or things that I'm interested in. All of that is sort of rolling up into this movement, I think, to make spaces be more digital and dynamic and, uh, and personalized. How is sensory interaction affecting the way we interact with buildings? I mean, Infocom is very much about the visual, right? I mean, the audio piece is, is certainly a big part of it, but I think the digital content that we've all been excited about for years being projected in, uh, in grand scale around us on physical displays is starting to migrate into augmented reality, meaning just layering of digital content and even interactive functionality onto physical objects without screens being involved. I think the next few years is super exciting because we're going to see all of this content really break free of the, of the black rectangles, right, and sort of become uh, surrounding us in a way. And, and that's super exciting. How do you see emerging technology impacting this idea that all things will become digital? I think for all things to become digital, we need to be able to interact with hardware and software much more naturally, right? So for a long time, we've interacted with things that can be digitized and presented in a, in a usable way, in a 2D screen-based mode. And the fact that we're now at the point where software can understand what we're saying in natural language like English means that so much more of how we interact and uh, sort of how we capture what we say and, and what's uh, happening between us as humans can become digital. Want to see even more videos like this? Subscribe to our channel.